So this is um, eight years into our production runs, right? So right now we're um, at a spot where we're digging into all the major equipment. We got the turbine exposed, we got our boiler feed pumps tore apart. Inspections on the main steam drum, the deerator. We're into the boiler, we're replacing all our platinum superheat tubes. We're doing all your critical safety valves. We're redoing all the modifications and we're, we're reworking all our SCR designs. We're doing a major on B pulverizer. First time we've changed roll wheels out. We're replacing bags in the bag house. 12, 16,940. We're replacing venturis in the scrubber. Oh, we're adding air cannons and more sonic horns. And last but not least, all the, uh, we've got three coal conveyors. We're getting new belts. We're doing an awful lot. So pretty busy. So currently, with the, at the dry fork station here, uh, we've hit a few snags in the turbine outage. Uh, one of those being with the inner casing on the uh, HPIP section of the turbine. When we took it apart, it was distorted such that we couldn't get it back together without really diving into how they initially uh, put it through its stress relief cycle. Um, unfortunately, Mitsubishi is not exactly forthcoming with that because that's that's how they manufacture their equipment um, but without without that what I can say is is that when they originally did this they didn't take the time required to relieve all the stresses so what we're doing right now is we've procured a shop in Missouri and they're going through the efforts of re-rounding our inner casing um, when that happens what they'll do is they'll make the casing not just re-round, but also fit back together. So we can get it back over here, get it back in the steam turbine, and we can get this buttoned up. We've had actually had a, quite a few forced outages on our platens. Uh, the way they were originally designed, there's a lot of tube that's hanging out in the, the furnace uh, gas pass flow, which causes a lot of um, erosion due to flue gas carrying the ash up through it and then a lot of damage due to fly ash. So to fix that or prevent that in the future, we actually are replacing the about the bottom 30 foot of the platen pendants. Essentially we compacted them into a, a more flat design so there's nothing hanging out in, into the gas stream. Currently we have about six of them up in place. We got all the old ones cut out. There's a total of 18, so we're about a third of the way done. So the SCR, back, kind of on the back end, the SCR is there to help control NOx, nitrogen oxide. Um, basically what it does is they inject ammonia right before the catalyst, and then the catalyst helps promote the reaction between the flue gas or the NOx and, and the ammonia. Um, every three years during their major outage, they have to either add or remove or change out catalyst just because it's depleted and new catalyst has to be put in. So that's what we're starting with this outage is we're, we're removing three la or two layers of catalyst and adding another two layers in. To change out the catalyst is a pretty big job. There's 140 um, catalyst modules per layer. So when we have two layers in, you're looking at 280 modules that's got to come out, lower it all the way to the ground floor, and then 280 got to go back up and put back in. So it's not just a quick outage if they can't make NOx to replace that or fix that. It's a major, it's a few week outage to get that replaced and get them back to full load. Along with that, with some plugins that Dry Fork's having, we're adding some cleaning equipment. Um, we've added, I think, 15 air, can 20, yeah, 15 air cannons and moved five of them. And then we've rearranged about 12 sonic horns and added another 12. And what the air cannons and the sonic horns do is they're basically a burst of air that gets that ash and it throws it back up into the air and then it gets back into the flue gas and it's carried back through the catalyst. So I think we're getting our cleaning arrangement to where it needs to be to help prevent pluggage and make sure that catalyst lasts the full three years to make it from outage to outage. The, uh, right below the SCR, we're getting into the air heater. In the air heater, what we're doing there is we have a cold side basket change out. Um, the, the air heater is basically used to preheat the combustion air that goes into the boiler. So what they do is they got, it basically rotates around an axis and one side of it has the flue gas, the warm air, and the other side has the kind of the cold air, the combustion air, the clean side. And basically it rotates around and the, the metal baskets pick up the heat 
from the, the flue gas and then they spin around to the, the clean side and they start heating up that gas that goes into the boiler. Um, just due to deterioration of the cold side baskets and wear on them, they, they've scheduled the, the change out of that this year. If the catalyst doesn't make it there, the plant ends up taking a D-rate to control NOx because they have to meet environmental limits and, and the permitting levels on the NOx. So that's, that's kind of what's happening on the SCR end.